Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I decided to smoke a joint. Uh, I'm sitting in the parking lot still, so someone's gonna hear me when I'm speaking. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll the joint right here. <clears throat> what is it? It's a Friday night. My little brother, I think he's like 29 now. I'm 32. But he coaches high school football. I really wanted to go to the game. It's just I didn't have no gas, and I really want to ask for help. And, I mean, I'm going to go to the games later in the future, so I'm not tripping. But I really wanted to because it's kind of boring just sitting here. Uh, I want to record music, but the parking lot is kind of full. I really want to perform. I've been thinking about it. Like, at least, like, maybe in the studio, kind of like the NPR style, where it's kind of like it looks live, but there's not really a crowd. I mean, there's... At NPR, it's probably a crowd of like 100 people. It's real more intimate. Something like that, you know? Kind of like a cypher style. But a performance of my favorite songs. I do a set, you know? So anybody watches this can help me. That'd be pretty cool. But also, um, you guys heard of that rapper, Little Travieso? Little Travieso? Man, you gotta protect your, you know, you gotta protect the, the you know, your future superstars, you know? They need guidance, babe, man. You're blowing up. You know, you're making money. You gotta, gotta get away from your environment, you know? But, um, somebody listening, like always. But I'm, I decided to smoke a joint. Uh, after this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sure, tomorrow morning, I got a little, I'm gonna do a little art tomorrow. Remember when I would go hiking at some other spot? There was this low key wall. I went hiking far one time. And uh, I found it. It's a little tanker. So I'm gonna go to the mall and check it out. So I got that plan going. I do got like three or four songs I wrote down today on some beats I got yesterday. So I have like those songs I could record tonight. A lot of times when I write a song, I hear a beat. I don't really practice it too much because I kind of go into it like already expecting like the song ain't that good. And sometimes it ends up coming out pretty decent. And I also notice a difference in like, if I have four or five songs ready to record, by the fourth or fifth song, my voice is already pretty warm. So I feel like those songs, you know, it's hard to say sometimes. You never know when you're gonna make a really good song you're gonna like, when you're gonna actually need, you know? Shout out to my homie Beyond, my homie Mark. Sometimes people post stuff on Instagram, makes you kind of, you're kind of like, man, you know, you, you know, you're not necessarily the, like the spark of like, oh man, it's so awesome, look at look, at blah blah, right? Life should be like that, but a lot of people go through things. It's hard for them to be happy for other people. You feel me? And um, but I notice him. What's cool is that like, I think I don't know his daughter. My daughter's about to be four. I know my friend Mark, his daughter's probably like two. But she already had floaties on, she was swimming. You know, it's, it's, it's. I read a book on a, on daughters. You know, you correlate it to a son too, they're not much different, you know. A woman, a, a, a young girl needs, a, I mean, I think even a boy. They need certain different affections, you know. But it talks about like, the trust your child develops with you when you're when you're there, you know. So it just made me think of my daughter. I don't even think like my daughter would be as comfortable in the pool swimming as as my friend's daughter looked. What I'm saying is like she looked a little, she looked advanced for her age. And, you know, somebody who situation you know kind of don't get to see your child as much. It just made me think about my daughter. My daughter's been in the pool, I just never been in the pool with her. And uh so I don't know how she swims. I kinda feel like stuffing my face with some food, like getting a pizza from 7 Eleven. But shit, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna do it. I might just go to bed like without eating, like I do yesterday, and it makes me wanna wake up. It makes me wanna wake up and go get something to eat or because if I, if I don't, I might sleep in, you know? If I go to sleep on a full stomach, 
I was thinking about going to 99 cent store right now, you know, before it closes. I just fill in on my ice chest. It's like milk and cereal. Um, okay, the dollar, the dollar tree still holds, I mean, they still sell $1 cereals at the 99 cent store. Ain't, ain't nothing really a dollar anymore. But, um, so. Yeah, if anybody can help out, shout out to my homie Cuba. It's your birthday. Hope you have a good night. My homie Frog is in Mexico. Lucky sucker. My homie JJ, my cousin, he posted a picture of his little boy. The little boy looks pretty smart. Like he's pretty aware for his age. Seems like a, a young kid that likes to maybe speak. You know, speaks his mind. You know, it's good. It's good to have. It's also a characteristic you get from your parents. You know. the school season, you know? <clears throat> Let me roll this up. I'm running low on buds as well, but it's all good. Guessing soon. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking for shit. Uh, smoking a lot. I finished reading that uh, indigenous book. Very interesting. And, uh, I was also, uh, if you're a boxing fan, it's gonna be a good fight. Usyk, Usyk, and. Joshua. I'm not too excited about it. It's gonna be more of a boxing match as opposed to like I don't know, so Dad woke up with that knot in my back. It's not too bad now. Got used to it I guess. In the morning, I'm sure tomorrow morning's gonna be stiff. But um Since I did burpees today, and I did sprint, I did I do like I do a, like five sprints, but in between that is like a decent walk, probably like a 50 yard walk until I get to another point where I sprint again. So it's like five sprints in total, <clears throat> and then I did burpees. So I'll probably go for a run tomorrow for sure. I'm kind of like getting into burpees more, where like I'm kind of like. Uh, I really want to go for a run, um, but then I kind of uh, I'm still gonna keep on my run. Like tomorrow, I'll probably go for a run for sure. And, um, yeah, nothing really new. Nothing really new. Uh, then the Raiders play tomorrow, so I'll be able to watch that. Mm, I want to go to the beach, but not really alone, you know. My homie's actually playing basketball tomorrow morning, so I could do that, but like I said, I ain't got no gas. <laughs> he wanted me to roll with him, but I kind of like to be in my own whip, you know? In case I start tripping, I have like something I could be like, hey, you know, like without having to tell anybody or like, like just, I don't have to tell nobody nothing, but hey, I'm gonna go to my truck real quick. If I start tripping or if I need to go take a smoke break or go collect my thoughts, you feel me? I really want to go watch them play basketball. Speaking of that shit, I might go to the park in the morning tomorrow, I'll play basketball. <clears throat> See who's there, you know what I'm saying? That'll be pretty dope. But anyway, uh, I don't wanna say this too loud. There's people in the parking lot at McDonald's. It's about to be, what, eight o'clock? But uh, I'll put the Cash App link below if y'all can help me out with anything. Let me smoke this with y'all. Since I am a man of, I don't know, I guess, brown, I don't know, 
I don't know what you consider me. I, I don't know if my people's are Spanish or what, you know. I don't know if people have came, made their way from like the Mexican region, the Mexico region, like Texas region. You know? So, I'm a, I'm a man made up of many different cultures, I'm sure. You know, but what I'm saying is, MC Magic, MC Magic. He did an interview with Duno. That's pretty awesome. Duno did a pretty good job of... Uh, I thought he was going to skip over, like, how he started in this process of... I wish I would have known how he met Mr. Roger from Zappin' Roger. He's the one that taught MC Magic how to use that. It's not auto-tune. It's like a tube in your mouth that, like, makes a different sound in your voice. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. He made some awesome music. So check that out. It was pretty good. I, I, I be DMing me females like, you know, I want to do an interview with you for my YouTube channel. I think I get for sure over like 300 views a day. I don't know what video videos doing it. I get random like comments, like, you know, school has started, especially I think in like, you know, you can imagine, I, I only know the Southern California kind of school season, but in other parts there's track, you know, track schools probably midwest and the east and the south maybe they start school earlier because people will comment on the books that i read online that i put up there they're kind of they're kind of audio books but they're kind of visual too because you see me reading it and then some of these students will comment like man you helped me the other day a, a, a student commented hey you helped me get like a 90 something on my test uh, yeah thanks do subscribe you know and the art videos that post and the music videos that post and my daily vlogs. I begin at least like one or two subscribers. I begin like at least right now averaging like five yards per carry. You know what I'm saying? About like maybe five subs a week. You know what I'm saying? And I went to get over a thousand so that way I could go live and uh, start making some donations and shit like that. So I be I be uh, emailing people. Um, I got, like my cousin pulled up on me. I mean my cousin. Yeah, shout out to my. To my fans, he pulled up on me and we did some art, you know. When you pull up on me, it's because you really want to do the art, you know. That's my space where I could be free, you know. It might not be the best conversationally, but I want to get content, you know what I'm saying. Shit to look back when I'm 50 or 60, oh shit, you, know, you, you capture that moment in time. Um, the internet ain't really going anywhere. You know? I wake up every day, neither am I, you know. Thank God, you know, I forgot to pray today. Um, um, and while I was doing burpees in my little corner, like, it's just like in the corner behind a wall, but I can still be seen if people people um, take that path. It's like two different paths you could take, but the majority of the people take the path where you can't see me. And it was at a time during the middle of the day, but a female like walked by me, she, she took the path that nobody really takes and like she she, she even waved at me I was like oh shit that was like right when I was done but from, if you check the video out you'll see how the ending I started gagging like when I after the it was really hot today I did it at a, like yesterday I went running like 11, 30, 12 it's pretty hot but when it gets around 1, 32 especially doing burpees you're just literally standing in front of the sun when you're running you get a breeze you know so she, she waved but these women they don't DM me back when I want to get content. If anybody got an interesting story they want to share, let me know. Or you got an idea. You know. If you want to do pranks too, I'm down to go to like a store and do some pranks. That should be fun. But, um, yeah, I got to read some of these books and get them back to the library. Just get them. Just get them. Maybe the library won't take back because they, they've already charged me they, they, they've charged me for these books so I don't know how the library works do they send it to collections <laughs> oh, you know. but I'm excited about the Raider game the season's coming up it's going to be coming up quick I'm going to start recycling again I'm going to start recycling this time I'm only, I'm only going to fill up my basket one time I used to do two times, and so I'm gonna make at least like half, 
I'm gonna make something every day or like four t times out of the week I'm gonna have something in my pocket you know what I mean I'm gonna save up I'm gonna save up I'm gonna save I'm gonna do a little traveling like, like the way I'm living right now I should be traveling you know I'm gonna work my channel you know I'll go even if I have nowhere to stay I'll go okay, okay that'll be a dope little video I make you know I go to fucking take a little flight to Vegas for a day just to be out in the strip or 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 somewhere where like the snow or you know, just you know, even somewhere out of the country. So but every time I save money and I get money I just end up spending but I'm smarter now. I gotta be smarter. Shout out to my young partner, he's a hustler, I told him to read the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. I believe I read that online, so you can check that out on my, my playlist, The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a very practical book on how to spend money. It talks about, it's, it's a person having a conversation with the richest man in the city, and how he started, and how he got his riches, and stories he's seen where people made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I also went through my playlist of music and I have about like, I found like two good songs that I made months back that really moved me today and really made me like, damn, it's good, pretty, really good songs I made. So, so I have like those little dance videos lined up. I just got it. The walls I've been using, I gotta get some paint to buff it. So I could do a new piece, so I could have a new background to my videos, because like, I kind of already tired of the ones I use already. That's just how I feel. If anybody wants to come do some art, let me know. I just need some buff paints, buff that, so that way the county doesn't like make a report. Because you know, if I buff it, I can keep using it. You know, so that's my idea. So, you know, so let me know. Also, I need some buff paint. Cash app down below anything one dollar from anybody who supports me and also you know, if y'all have any paint bucket paint that you don't use you know you don't have to be a painter or an artist to have paint at your house you just you might have to look for it a little bit but i can't even smoke this joint my brother Cuba it's his birthday to the cute girl on Instagram whose birthday it is too rest in peace to my cousin Gibby my auntie Cece posted his birthday the other day they were really good friends like they would sit on the porch and smoke cigarettes together that was their nephew my older cousin and auntie Cece is my auntie they just sit on the bench the bench has been in my family for years you know my grandpa built that bench my auntie Cece and Juana's father my mom had a different father than them which is my grandpa Mauro I mean I love everybody but so Gibby Gibby would they would talk they were friends man they were just my cousin Gibby was funny and my auntie Cece was you could you could uh, count on a laugh from her you know what I'm saying but I didn't know he was a Leo baby man I never knew I never knew he was a Leo baby I don't know, I didn't even, I guess I'm like the beginning of the Leo, because my birthday was July 28th, and Leo season's still going, because I think it's the middle of August. I wonder if my brother's team's winning. I'm just curious, Ed. It's pretty cool being a Raider fan right now, because, like, if you're into football, like, I, I can't I can't ever remember these, all these years being a Raider fan, which is very difficult to do. I was never, like, like, there was never a coach that like top like that was that the idea was that he's a genius or like oh my god such a great offense we actually got that with Gruden like, like we were excited of like this coach that was this like young phenom goes to work for like 10 years on TV comes back and he's actually running the team very well except maybe 
communicate it. You know, I told the players to be more careful or whatever, but it's a different story. But, you know, but now it's like as a football, football fan, you're super excited. Like, you feel like you're gonna learn. It's like a, the coach is gonna, like, his mind's gonna be a magician. You're expecting something very modern, very, very. Um, it's like gonna step the, the coaching game up to the next level. You know, it's kind of very exciting as a football player like as an artist too I just happen to be a Raider fan but I'm excited about the season so I was excited about going to my brother's game and they're recording it and kind of getting that content but also seeing the offense and football the way it's ran what do you think about the Talik uh, Akeem Talib thing very sad for the victim and the family man Send prayers and blessings out to them. I know. Yeah, so. That's why I like joints because they go out. You know, you just always kind of put it back. It's kind of the convenience of them. Shout out to when we edit. Dude, I can't ever not use a tray again because, or you just have to be more careful because it has that roll. And like, you know, I roll, I roll the. I roll skinny joints. I roll the joint. Sometimes, like, my hands are, like, I twist it and it all falls down, but it gets caught by the tray. It's like, man. But also with joints, you don't really get, like, if you end up running out of weed, this this kind of sounds like, obviously, like, call me what you want, whatever. Someone who doesn't have a lot of money or been through the situation where, like, with a pipe, it builds up resin. So you can just scrape that when you don't have no weed no more. But the joints I guess you have to save the roaches and just roll another <laughs> joint from the roaches you know I tried to germinate some seeds the other day I didn't, I didn't do it properly <laughs> I'm just the seeds I'm collecting now I'm just plant them in the ground see if they come out just water it see what happens be careful man no drinking and driving be very careful I really want to practice more like doing my music live because I know that I really have to learn my songs more like actually know them performance wise not just as like I'm listening to it um, and also get that it's like it's, it's totally different than anything else is you're like oh you're like oh yeah man I, I go running every day or you know I do boxing training and then you're like oh I have a basketball game tomorrow I haven't played in a month and you find out man I'll you have to acclimate, you know. So even with performing music, you have to practice it. And that's something that I want to do. Shout out to my homie t -Sop. He's very secretive with this stuff. But he told me a while ago, but he recently posted it that he was part of, he did a hip-hop show, I think, in L.A. And he won a competition to go to another competition in Miami. So hopefully he gets that content. Which reminds me, all my friends, family, people who support me, even people who are fans of me right now, it's a, my channel is very small, so my early supporters are, are going to be my favorite supporters. So if y'all have aspirations, don't sit here and judge me. Go do it. Go be great so you can help me. Go. Don't be scared of your talent. You need someone in your corner, you got to let them know. Some people don't know the role, but you got to tell them, hey, bro, this is your role in my vision, in my dream. I went running the other day. My buddy's a very successful businessman. But he found something he loved. He found a way to earn and learn how to run a business. You know what I'm saying? And now, now I went running the other man. He's become a great manager now. He's not just that which he started to earn. He's, he doesn't even have to really do that anymore if he didn't want to. He's become a really good manager. And a lot of that happens, has to do with being honest, you know, having communication. You know, not letting things fester, but always just having trust, you know? I think, I think.
kind of like this lighting a little bit. <clears throat> Turn my car on. I'll leave after I smoke this. I'll probably go record those songs. It's actually still early. It's probably 9 o'clock. Um, FedEx is going to be there tonight. They were bumping last night. It didn't bother me because I got up real early to go do art. So they kind of helped me get up. I just hate that once before, like a dumbass. They did come in bumpy loud, and I was just like in a grumpy mood. And I told the guy, like, bro, come on, man. You're fucking bumping the music loud. And then he just said, well, this is this is a public property. And I was like, all right, man, do what you want or whatever. Like, it's whatever. I pretty much told him, like, it's whatever. You could continue doing it even though you I kind of told it. Even though you kind of know it bothered me, you can keep doing it, or it's whatever you want to do. Kind of not like, not threatening him, but it's the same. Like, I was mad at the time. So now I feel just kind of like dumb about it. Every time they see me and they play loud music, they might be like, you can't say shit, blah, 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 or they know it bothers, or it bothered me at a point. That, that kind of what bothers me. <laughs> but actually, bothered me. Cause now I'm talking about it and stuff like it's not even I like the music they bump like hip hop and shit it's cool I, I like, even though like, I'm like a lonely person I like seeing communal shit like that you know like on the you know just not letting like even if something bothers you you still don't have to react like it does you know you don't have to react like it does purpose of being a human is being in situations where you get more comfortable with yourself as an individual only by being around other people like because when you, you know, I wish I could talk more with these people around yeah. some people want to join in on conversations safe spaces for communication and we also need more understanding of those who don't have that sensitivity um, to be joyful you know what I'm saying so that's, that's what I believe anyway y'all thanks I couldn't finish it but thanks for tuning in like and subscribe any dollar helps